The first day that I moved in, I met my neighbor and his wife, and he was so lovely, and he said, if you ever need anything, call me. We're all in this together, and we help each other. Isn't that beautiful? I, I just couldn't believe it. Desi, what is good? Are you upset? Desi. Desi, are you hiding from the deer? Are you afraid of the deer? Are you afraid of the deer? Are you watching the deer? Are you checking them out? Yeah. My apartment is located in one of the highest elevation points in my city. So the views are, are, are so beautiful. I can't wait to get to know some of these trees on a first name basis. They're so beautiful. so happy to see you today thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi oh gosh I hope you had a good um, three weeks <laughs> can you believe it it's been three weeks since we chatted I have missed you so much but well I moved and I told you 18 months ago I was moving and finally things fell into place and I am in my new home my new apartment and I've only lived here 11 days, but what I want to do today is take you through each room. Now, they're not done. I'm not done decorating each room, but you're going to be able to see where I'm going, the direction that, that I want my home to have. And so I think it's going to be fun. You know, so many of the things that I have, I've, I've thrifted for, for the last 40 years. So... Some of, some of my belongings, a few of them are new, and I'm excited to show you the new, the new things I got. But also, <sighs> the things that, you know, were my mother's or my grandfather's or things that I have thrifted throughout the years, and a lot of things I thrifted with you. <laughs> but they, they're so comforting, you know, when you're in new surroundings to, to take a look at a table that's been with you for 40 years. It's, yeah. It's wonderful. So, are you ready for a tour? Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Apartment 8, our new home. And Desi's waiting for me. He's waiting for us. All right, let's show the ladies our new apartment. Desi, where are you? There you are. All right. Hey, everybody. This is our new home. And I tell you what, <laughs> spoiler alert, we love it. <laughs> But this is the foyer and Desi and this is a very long dramatic wall. Uh, I do have a closet here to my left. Let me open it up for you. And this has, a, a, you know, my winter coats and my scarves and all the things that I need to go walking Desi. But I did not realize that when I rented the apartment that the foyer wall was quite this dramatic and quite this large so what I did is I decided that I would hang the most dramatic art that I owned and I also wanted it to be art that inspired me to try to do what I do I, I love photography and I love filming so all of these uh, pieces of art reflect that uh, 
So I absolutely loved uh, doing the foyer wall. So I am so happy with how this foyer wall just kind of folds into the living room and I think it kind of builds with drama and it kind of tells a story and that's of course how I sort of look at life. <laughs> I have more cupboards in this kitchen than I could ever want and also above I have my twinkle lights so <laughs> life is good. I have a dishwasher. I haven't had a dishwasher in about 15 years so of course I'm beside myself um, but I, I absolutely love it. I also love this floor. This floor that kind of goes right into the foyer uh, floor. I just think it's just gorgeous but it's kind of an old-fashioned kitchen, but I just love it. And I, the other thing I really love about it, it, it has this little cutout window here, so I can actually, you know, watch television while I'm cutting my vegetables or fruits or I don't know whatever I would be cutting. <laughs> I have a new little warmer because it said, uh, "Good things take time," and that's how. I felt because it took me so long to get here but I'm so happy now that that I'm here. When I rented this apartment I thought there was a breakfast nook off the kitchen but it turns out to be more of a real dining room so my table is a little bit small but that's just going to have to do probably till spring but I could have a real dining room table here and I was wondering if my china cabinet would fit. Well, I probably could have fit two china cabinets in, in this room, but I'm so happy. Every window in this apartment has the beautiful view of the tall hills and, and the woods with the animals running free. It's absolutely beautiful. But I wanted to mention as stark as the foyer is with all black and white art, I wanted this dining room to be happy. I wanted it to be uh, colorful. I wanted the walls to be full of flowers, like, like a garden, but on the walls with reds and yellows. And I, I didn't even care if it was good taste or not. I just wanted it to be colorful, and I love it. And I, I have room to grow. I've got uh, a couple plant stands that I'm going to be bringing in here. Uh, so that's going to be exciting when those arrive. Around the corner, I have a pantry. I haven't had a pantry in so long. I can't believe it. So for somebody who lives in Michigan, when we have a rough Michigan winter, oh my gosh, it's wonderful to be stocked up on everything. So if you can't get out for a couple weeks, you're all set. China cabinets are kind of old-fashioned, you know. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I, sh I just shouldn't bring a china cabinet. But I looked at all these things that I've collected all my life, and I thought, I can't leave a man behind. I, I have to bring my china cabinet and all my little treasures that make me so happy. Off the living room is such a sweet balcony and it overlooks the hills and in the woods and it's absolutely beautiful. Now I'm filming this at six o'clock at night. I so wish you could see this, what it looks like in the morning. I will make sure that I film this for you, but you can see it's, it's just so beautiful and it's so peaceful. So I, I just can't believe that, well, <laughs> In the morning I drink my coffee here and at, at dinner time I eat my dinner out here and it's just lovely. You know I picked up this bistro set that I absolutely fell in love with and I got this for under $200 at Walmart and the quality is so good. I'll link it below if you're ever interested in a, a small bistro set but I just think it's just gorgeous. Desi do you like it? Are you looking for the deer? You like your little balcony? So 
wonderful to live in a place where the deer come right up to your balcony. <laughs> So this is my living room and this is a really pretty new chair that I did pick up. Uh, I just love it. It is uh, blue and white with butterflies and I just thought it was so pretty. You know what I find so interesting about my living room now is I didn't buy a lot of new furniture or art for this living room but to me it has a completely different feel. I did buy the chair and, and the ficus tree. And I did get a new coffee table. And I think absolutely my new coffee table, I think is, is absolutely the star of the show. It is a, just a piece of glass and underneath it is a huge piece of wood. And you can customize your coffee table by putting different things on that piece of wood. So in other words, you could put old pictures of your family. Let's say uh, it is autumn. You can put pumpkins under there. Um, it's seashells, stone. I mean, it's endless how you can make your coffee table look. So you can change the look of your coffee table whenever you feel like it. And so I just, I loved it. I will link this coffee table below, but I just think, you know, how creative. It, it just amazes me. So I wanted kind of a dramatic end to my foyer wall, so I decided that I would put my Bombay chest there. And I did purchase an Art Deco mirror that I absolutely fell in love with. And however, if I had known how heavy that mirror was, I may not have bought it. I actually had to hire someone to hang it. It was, it was that heavy. But it's absolutely, stunningly beautiful. You know, I had a lot of fun with this art arrangement here. I thrifted this two days ago at the Salvation Army and I thought it just went absolutely perfect with the Art Deco mirror. I do believe that this particular piece is from the 60s. Now I might be wrong, but I, I think it is. But I think it just goes perfectly with that Art Deco mirror. And when you stand in front of the Art Deco mirror, it actually brings in the balcony. So it's just, it's absolutely stunning to me. You know, I know so many of you out there are downsizing and I know that you're moving from a home into an apartment and I know you feel a lot of anxiety about it. So that's why it was so important that I do this video today. Even though, you know, it's not really ready for a reveal, I, I kind of wanted to, to show you a, a little bit about what you can do in 11 days and, and how I felt emotionally about it. And, you know, I won't lie, <laughs> moving uh, is, you know, it's the best of times and it's the worst of times. I'm a little bit OCD, so to have everything that I own packed in boxes for a long time was traumatic for me. I mean, I woke up every single morning kind of terrified, like, oh my gosh, I'm moving. <laughs> Can I do this? And I would look at Desi and he'd go, well, of course you can do it. <laughs> but yeah, I felt, I felt excited and I felt so vulnerable. I mean, I called up every old boyfriend that I ever had <laughs> and I found out one important lesson there. Old boyfriends don't want to help you move. <laughs> I don't know why. They want to take you out to dinner and steal kisses, but they don't want to help you move. <laughs> but that's okay. I was just fine. I hired movers. Going down the hall, I made a little jazz wall. All my all my favorite uh, artwork of uh, people playing jazz or enjoying jazz. So I love that. And I have room to grow because I have a couple little blank walls on, on the right here. Um, this is my bathroom. This is so cute. And I have a lot of storage. I have a huge built-in. Uh, storage uh, to the right here uh, with lights and it's so wonderful for my skincare and makeup so I love that. 
So you walk down the hall and to your left, you will see my office and where I am playing music now in my other apartment. My keyboard was kind of tucked away in my bedroom and I didn't really have room to play. So here I have a, a special place where, you know, I, I have a window with a beautiful view and I can play till my heart's content. I have my cameras uh, set up. I have, uh, I'm bringing in some shelving for my lenses and this is where I edit and this is where I can create and this is this is a kind of an oasis for me. The only thing I bought new for this room is this piece of art that I fell in love with and it's mostly flowers and butterflies. I know it's kind of a theme. So I absolutely love right now having a room to myself where I can play music where I can edit my videos and, and just feel that I've gone somewhere else instead of it being tucked away in the living room or the bedroom. It's a, it's a whole room for me just dedicated to being artistic and it means the world to me. All right, and finally, this is my bedroom and this is my guy, Desi. <laughs> He's sleeping on the bed. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. I can't stand it. Okay, so this is the rug. Uh, I bought this, oh gosh, probably about four months ago. Uh, I thrifted this with you guys when I went to the Salvation Army, that little bench. And I just thought it was just so cute and I, I didn't want to leave it behind, so I took it. This is my little half bath off my bedroom and I, I love it. I can be kind of private if I have guests. I have a whole blank wall that I can... Uh, hang shelving on uh, so that's going to come in handy because I do get uh, sent quite a few things. So I bought no new furniture or art for my bedroom. I, I kept things just the way they've been for probably 20 years. I, I made a little uh, makeshift dresser for myself and I thought that was kind of fun and I love the view of when I get up in the morning. It's just so peaceful and, and beautiful. I love this painting so much. Look at how much fun they're having in that old boat. And you, he looks about 20 years older than she does, so I don't know the story. but right, And lastly, I have a walk-in closet. And it gives me a lot of room to organize my purses and my hats and my scarves and my clothes. You know, I gave away... 50% of my clothes before I moved, I donated them to a woman's shelter. So I felt really great about that until I started hanging up my clothes and I thought, where'd all my clothes go? But anyway, <laughs> it was a good cause and I'm glad I did it. But it's, it's really a, a kind of a fun thing. I'm going to have to really learn how, I'm going to have to really learn how to organize a real closet. This is not a modern apartment, but it's the kind of apartment that is so much like a home. It's almost twice as big as as the apartment that I, I'm coming from, but it's still it's still small by most people's standards. But I love it, and Desi loves it, and it feels like home. And I've only been here 11 days. So I just wanted to say, if you're, if you're afraid that leaving your home and going into an apartment is going to be traumatic or, or scary for you, that it'll never feel like a home, trust me, it will. It will feel like your home. You will look around, you'll see pictures of your family, you'll see the belongings you've had all your life, and you will be comforted. If I feel like this is a home after 11 days, imagine what I'm going to feel like a year from now. 
with Desi and I on the balcony watching the deer come out of the woods. This is like a dream come true for me. So, I'm so glad you're here today to share this with me. This house is dog friendly. People, not so much. Hey everybody, thank you so much for spending this time with us today. I really did love every second of it and I so hope you liked the tour. I, I hope that my new home here, well, I hope you'll feel comfortable here and at home just like you did the old place. It's going to take a little bit of time but we're going to have so much fun and there's so much room for us to grow here and when we go thrifting it, it'll just be so much fun to to pick up things that, well, we can pick out together. <laughs> so please have yourself a, a good, safe, brand new week. And, and when you're done with your week, come back and see me and Desi, okay? All right, we'll be here. It's a deal. That would be a perfect gift for the neighbor who hates me, but wait, <laughs> I don't have a new neighbor that hates me yet. <laughs> I guess just give it time. I was awful scared, but I made it. I think you'd be proud. I, I wish you could be here today. I needed a hero, so that's what I became.